My grandfather and grandmother opened it in 1938. This was actually their house. They bought the house and then they lifted the house up and built the bakery underneath it. My grandfather actually did the baking and um, actually did all the cake decorating. And my grandmother just waited on the customers and put things up front and did the book work. And then eventually it got so busy that he had to pass that on to her, the decorating, and to the girls that he hired. It's just been passed down through the years to my mother um, and her brother and then to my mother has it now and of course we both handle the day-to-day because -day. I do five to seven five to eight wedding cakes a weekend I'm glad that wedding cakes are like they are now they used to be we'll have to show you some wedding cakes of um, that my grandmother used to do they had like this size three on the bottom it was mirrors that were like 30 something inches around and they had three they were called clover leaves there was three huge cakes on the bottom and then a big cake on top of it and then like three tiers on top of that. They were huge. And we'd have to take two or three people just to carry them to the wedding. If they want those dark colors like reds and blacks, blues, instead of using um, the icing, just putting a ribbon around the base of the cake. One of the more popular trends is the monograms on top with the crystals um, or three. Sometimes we just have one, sometimes all three other uh, initials. Yeah, we have, we're starting to sell um, bridal accessories or wedding accessories. We also sell the, the serving sets, the knife and the servers. We have a number of catalogs that we keep on hand to order from if they like something that they see in those. Just little things like for the, for the bridesmaids and for the flower girls, little gifts, like gift ideas for the groomsmen. We're going to start selling invitations. They can order invitations from us, design, you know, kind of design their own, and, and just hope that we can give them ideas for other things other than just cakes. So if we can help them out with any other aspect, if we can refer them to other vendors that they don't have yet, then we want to be able to do that. For the shop, for the bride and groom, usually we just recommend that they, they sh that they cut just a small piece back here, and just cut, make just a little rectangle out of it, and that way they can cut it in half and share the cake with each other and then we have little diagrams that we can give them to kind of show them how to cut the cake. Right now I think the trend is stacked. I think we do the majority of stacked wedding cakes as opposed to doing them on posts or pillars. Um, I mean there's a wide variety of, I mean you could do, I mean there's all kinds of ways you can do it but I think right now it's the stacked cakes and the more simplified and ribbons. We're doing a lot of cakes that have ribbons around them. Okay, so come on down and see us at Ann's Bakery. We're at 7 North Harvard, I-244 in Harvard, in Tulsa. Check out our website. It's www.annsbakery, all lowercase, .com. Our phone number is 918-834-2345.